Westy, congratulations on another solid podium. Is that happy enough for you at uh, Cadwell here? Yes and no. Um, obviously, fantastic for me to be on the podium at home. Um, but I honestly wanted a little bit more this weekend. I wanted to win, but I've struggled with the front end and uh, I just haven't had the feeling I've needed. Every time I've been out on the bike, the team's been fantastic and they've made big changes, but just haven't given me what I needed. You know, we just haven't been able to find it. It's not for lack of trying. And a big thank you to the team because... Uh, We've had a bit of a dodgy weekend and we've still come away with a podium. So, um, honestly, I didn't have anything for, for Bradley and for Mason this weekend because they were a little bit stronger than me. Um, but, yeah, also had a little bit of a scare on the way to the grid, you know. I uh, I went for the brakes into the hairpin and for whatever reason I had none, so I had to, I had to jump off. So that was a little bit a little bit unnervy going into the race. Um, but luckily the bike was fine and everything was all right. So, um, yeah, happy with the weekend, happy to come away with the podium back in the lead of the championship you know which is which is the most important thing it's a shame we couldn't put more points into Taz because he's had a bit of an iffy weekend but um, it is what it is and we look forward to the, the remaining four rounds and the fight's on and uh, I'm looking forward to it Congratulations on being championship leader Cheers thank you Thanks very much James Westman and let's bring in for Gearlink Kawasaki Mason Law Mason another cracking performance from you Bradley just seemed to have the edge on you this weekend but you pushed him hard all the way Yeah no I don't disagree Brad had real strong pace this weekend Started the weekend strong in FP1 and then uh, kind of took over the range from there. But, you know, it was a bit of a, a bit of a carbon copy of yesterday's race. Um, I had a bit of a plan and it wasn't to lead at the beginning and found myself in the lead, which is obviously I'm not complaining about, see what I could do. And, you know, when Brad came past me, it wasn't wasn't too much of a bad thing. I thought I'd sit behind him, see, see where he was strong. And we were both strong in, in different places. And, you know, for some reason today, the pace was a lot slower, but we both just said that uh, we were both on the limit. Um, caught up to him you know mid-race thought okay this is where that was my plan you know to try and catch him in the middle of the race and see what we could do at the end but just um was just real deep on the brakes a few times and missed a few lines and uh you know after everything that the team have been through this year with myself and michael and norma they really deserve um another podium in second place so big thanks to, to the team and all their sponsors and obviously all mine uh, andrew matia for coming over this weekend my dad family and friends it, it really means a lot Great work, Mason. Congratulations on a fantastic podium. And it's a D for double for Bradley Ray. I tell you what, it's like those number seven buses, Brad. Yeah, they come in twos, didn't they? <laughs> no, I mean, um, coming into the start of the weekend, uh, I'm not that keen on Cadwell Park, you wouldn't believe it. But um, after this weekend, I think we found a good good pace for the bike. And um, I would what you call a perfect weekend, uh, setting pole and two wins. But I mean, um, yeah, I was pushing my hardest out there to, to get the double. And Mason kept me honest through the whole race. And uh, yeah, I can't thank my team enough and everyone around me for supporting me and, and getting me where I am today. Great result for you. Go and enjoy the podium. Thank you very much. Bradley Ray takes the victory.